Oh, that's gonna be. Oh crap! That's health. That could probably would have been useful up here. Okay, let's take this amulet. This pillar of stone contains some sort of metallic object within it. Carved into its crystalline surface is an inscription. The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand what it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in its use. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. Essence gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can tap their true potential. Whoa. The dragon amulet is your birthright and a tool for focusing your spiritual power. As you travel the Jade Empire, you will find gems that enhance your abilities. Place these gems in the sockets of the dragon amulet to gain access to their power. So basically, uh, you can do multiple stuff. This is a flawed warrior gem. On the right here, right above where it says stats, it says total gems, one, and then one out of three slots used. So, uh, conversation skills, body, mind, spirit, okay, can't remember. Oh, charm is seven, good. Intuition, intimidation, it's good to know. Uh, so you can just select different ones, match them up to what you want. So this is body, so minor uh, bonuses to your body. Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. The forces behind the restless dead will take an interest in you. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined here. In achieving your true power, you become a target that many will not be able to resist. Good. One against everyone. I like it. Uh-oh. Uh, three, three. Ooh. Oh no, no. I don't want Fortune's favorite. I want this one. Got him. Got him. Come on, get over him. There we go. Got him. Ownage. Got him. Oh, I should have used my healing before I picked up that chi thing. Can't get... Okay. Let's, uh... Let's figure this stuff out. I think we're good here. Sorry about that. The writing on this clay tablet is strangely illegible. Rather than just being poorly inscribed, it seems to change as you read it. You notice that the amulet you found in this room has started to glow dimly. Hold up the amulet you found in this room. The amulet glows brighter and suddenly the inscription on the clay seal is clearly legible. My student, I hope you realize your importance. The restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld. All of us will suffer if things continue as they are. Seek the source of this problem and eradicate it. That is your purpose and burden. I hope that the basics I have taught you will aid you in setting everything right. I hope so too, man. But I'm I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Okay. Thank you for saving. I'm guessing this is going to be a part a clay tablet like the others you previously encountered. The script is once again written in your master's hand. Not all spirits succumb to bestial rage. A strong will can transcend death. These beings may have powers beyond any living foe, and intelligence to beguile and confuse. All will suffer if the dead remain this way. Soon you must leave two rivers. Seek the source of this problem, even if it leads to the heart of the Empire. I have old friends who may guide you, but I have old enemies, too. The cave is secure. Meditate on what you see here. When you leave, all will be changed. Man. Alright. 
I got a we got a huge burden on myself right here. Looks like something something's about to go down. Do I get a boss fight? What is this? Oh, what's up? What's up, man? Kwansai Irat, we will cook up your finishy takawo. Aha! I know who this is. This is going to be the first master. Wokirwir, uktara no utak, no fantayana ukona ni pina towa, wo tawa ir fuye ono sofakarhuru. So actually, what I had mentioned about. uh them all speaking English. That's not true, which I actually prefer this because most of them will speak English, but you got the old people who speak in the in the old dialect, which is really cool. Let's continue. You ruled here. Were you a master at the school? Where do you need to go? Who is the shepherd? No fantayana ukona ni pina towa, wo wo tawa ir fuye ono sofakarhuru. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I gotta pause this. Old master, I have to defeat this guy. That sucks. All right, let's do this. Uh, no, we're gonna get these guys done. There we go. Oh snap, he's throwing stuff at me. That's not very nice. Come on, get up. Ah, shoot. You suck. Nice. Dude, I didn't want to do that. I look like Wolverine with my claws. It's awesome. Movies have like this glowing effect. It's kind of nice. Whoa. Whoa, snap. What's up, pretty lady? My power is stretched thin, bled away. And you are too small, too mortal to truly understand. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are clouded, but you must find a way through the fog. You are the one who can hear, the one who can act. Search, but look also for yourself. You are a spirit monk, and you are the last. Ha. Huh. So what's a spirit monk? I do not have the strength to answer. I am cut open, and the way to the underworld is shut. Spirits are lost with no shepherd, no guardians. You must restore us. The amulet is a focus. It will guide you. But when you know both sides of the Veil of Death, ability alone will save you. I have a moment of power, a window to grant knowledge of a primal energy. You must choose between ice and fire, and I will grant the skill to bring them to your hands. Okay. Um... So this is an interesting point in the game. This tells you if you choose flame or ice. Later in the game, you can choose, you can get the other one, but for right now, the best choice strategically would probably be the ice. So that's what we're gonna choose. Emotions burn, but the spirit can also turn cold and strike with grim resolve. 
Command this, and you chill the hearts of your enemies. Yours is the power of Ice Shard. Okay, is this the kind of style Master Lee cautioned Gao against using? There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have grown twisted. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk, for you are the last. <laughs> 